And hello everyone. Welcome. I believe our audio is going. It looks like it. There we go. It is Saturday night. It is time for the weekly dig for anyone new to the stream. This is a live show where we dig into anime old and new. I'm Brent. These are my fantabulous co-hosts. John. Say hi, John. Hi, John. And Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hello, Steve. Donde esta biblioteca, Exactly. Yeah, stay this one, so. And. No, no, por favor. What? No. <laughs> and today, we have got something special for you all. Because uh, we're we normally we analyze a movie uh, or an OVA or TV series or something every every week, but today is our summer twenty one seasonal anime preview review special special where we're going to look at 20 different anime airing this season, of which we have watched at least episode one of each of these. Um, we're a couple of episodes in to the season now. Um, we're just going to start digging into uh, each of these and just sort of give our thoughts and comments. Uh, let me make sure I have my notes. There we go, up on the screen for this. And um, let's get started. We're going to go alphabetical as usual. And we're going to start with the Aquatope on White Sand. Mm -hmm. So this is an anime series um, set in Okinawa, if I recall correctly. Yep. yep. Um, uh, set at an aquarium with Gama two... Gama Aquarium. Gama Gama Aquarium, which yep. is, um, has... Uh, it, it's about two girls uh, and their sort of connection at the aquarium. Although there seems, appears to be something a little supernatural going on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, fish head boy. Fish head boy. <laughs> thing. I can't figure it out if it's a boy, girl, or... Mm -hmm. Yes. F f fish head... Homunculus. I mean, Kami, <laughs> let's be honest, probably. Yes. Um, I mean, oh my gosh, the visuals. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful anime. You very much feel like you're at this, in this sort of beach community um i would say definitely a slice of life yeah. healing kind of an anime um right up my alley um what did you guys think i i, I immediately grabbed me um you know as as some of you don't know i've become a laid back camp um convert so so you know so i'm trying to get a little into the cold the club, <laughs> the club. The club. We obey, we obey. Mm. No. Um, so it, it, the, tent. Get the, <laughs> the tent, bicycle out, but uh, moped out or whatever. Mm. Best book. Um, um, so I, it, watching the visuals is also what grabbed me. And one of them was the swing, which I think is actually a, uh, um, a an actual picture from one of the Maldives. Oh, wow. It has... Um, yeah that swing on there and i'm trying mm -hmm. to figure, figure which grouping it is but it's like from a resort but it's like really famous for it's like like two trees on this atoll and this one little swing mm -hmm. um but so it's like very beautiful and then it just sur sort of just just meanders into the story for these yeah. two girls and it's just a nice sit back you don't have to think you're just like just kind of flow with it mm -hmm. and even though fish head kami shows up um, it's still like a very kind of like you know okay well this is something that's going to affect later but mm -hmm. like, you know you don't feel anything like oh my god they're going to turn into you know uh, magical girls or anything like that. It's just <laughs> no. like, this little thing that just goes oh hey fish head thank you and mm -hmm. here for that fish head are some good luck things and let me help you make some of these connections mm -hmm. and it's, it's just really nice to watch mm -hmm. Well, my my initial with it when I sat down and watched the first episode, I'm like, <clears throat> this is a little slow. Mm, sure. <laughs> like, yeah. And then they got the aquarium moment mm -hmm. where I was like, that oh was my, awesome. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I was just sort of riding yeah. along, like, okay, it's um, I see where you're going. I'm just, mm -hmm. just run away, do these things, find a new adventure. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is, holy wow. Okay. <laughs> So now I'm a couple episodes into it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, this is you're you're 
you're dropping in these odd little kami guy, these things that are happening mm-hmm. in the Okinawa environment, and it's just like, okay, you got me. Mm. This is going to be a nice, nice ride, and mm-hmm. it's going to be some yeah. interesting stuff. And boy, I really hope they explain the Kami better. Yeah, I really hope yeah. that like that features in because people are aware that something unusual is happening. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah. Gamagama yeah. is a special place. Mm-hmm. It is as is, is explained in Okinawan culture. Gamagama is like this special cave. Mm-hmm. That's a structure where you can encounter the gods. Mm-hmm. So this aquarium is like there's something about it that's mm-hmm. I just can't wait to see what they're gonna what it means. Yeah, yeah. what's gonna happen. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, it's also unusual um, because it is an anime series dealing with like a career change, um, with somebody just dealing with a major life event and how how to kind of process that as a person, which is kind of neat to see. You know, so often it's you know. Oh my gosh! Does he like me or not? Uh, whereas this is a little, a little more, a little more adult in that sense. Um, so transitioning from that, we have battle game in five seconds, um, which, <laughs> which in case you can tell from the title, is a battle royale anime. Yeah. Um, it's a battle royale anime. Like there, there, there's not too much it does beyond that twist. Although there is there is one twist which I really do appreciate, um, that the main so everybody in there gets some power, every fighter. Um, the main characters I don't know if I should spoil the main character's power, um, but it's it's a power that requires strategy. Okay. Yes. That's yes. Good and, and I really like that. That it, it's not just is it more powerful than something else. He's going to have to set things up in every episode, every fight. Um, so I appreciated that twist at least. Otherwise, it's okay. Yeah, weird secret organization, random people. People get you know you know people will potentially die. All that. It was, I you know, like I, I started watching it and I'm like, going, okay, well, this is the trope. Okay, here's the the loner boy who gets you know light yamik. I mean, who gets like 100% on his test without even trying. Mm-hmm. Instead of a death note, it's basically he's, he's a gamer and he just does the gaming thing. Mm-hmm. And he, he goes through it and then suddenly the game comes to him, so to speak, and they, yep. you know he's, he's recruited. And uh, like even the action sequences in that, I was just kind of like... Mm. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, the only thing that made me kind of just go, oh, okay was at, at the end of the first fight where she blows a hole in his chest. It's <laughs> yeah. so like, well, I, okay. Mm-hmm. So she is this cat girl who is generic mm-hmm. in every sense of the word. And, you know, but I, quite frankly, I find her annoying. Oh, really? I find her, I find her very, very annoying. Mm. And just, I think it was just like almost trying too hard. Mm. Okay. And, um, but otherwise, um, like you said, the twist of having to use that power in a strategic sense, and how it kind of fits that character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, yeah that was this was when I, I read the little synopsis on my anime list, and then today because of all the things I was doing otherwise, it's like I didn't get a chance to see it. Brent mm-hmm. gave me the rundown. I'm like, ah, shonen, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so actually, it's, yeah. It, yeah. it that does not often rise to the level of my like, oh my god, I see this. Yeah, and to be clear, like it, it is. It hits on all of the battle royale things. It's not that it is a bad battle royale. It is just very much battle royale. If you want that, it's going to deliver that for you right, right down the middle. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, if, that, if that's your thing, I think you'll really enjoy it. So, so I, I, I find it hilarious that we went from Aquatope, a <laughs> relaxing anime, you know, healing anime, and do battle royale, like, so, <laughs> royale destruction. And it's just like, oh, I well, and then we're going to go right back with Drugstore in Another World. Yes. Um, which is... Which I could not handle. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I your, could, your, your notorious objection to ghosts. I know. <laughs> I know. No, it's just... The whole thing was just like going, Oh my God, this is so saccharine that it's actually hurting my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's like it's all pastels. Everyone is smiling this, mm-hmm. and everyone's happy. And you know, I I really don't know what 
the conflict is. I, I honestly don't. I don't know think there is any. I, I'm, I'm sure there is none. <laughs> and it's just like this little wolf girl thing that he saved. So, mm-hmm. so she calls, embarrassingly calls him master. And mm-hmm. she, you know, I'm just like, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then there's yeah. ghost girl who just kind of appears. And then there's all these people that come in and, mm-hmm. oh, here's the drug for you. And here's the drug mm-hmm. for you. And here's the drug for you. It's very pastel. Mm-hmm. Like Southeast DC crack dealer. You know, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this one uh, because it is just straight healing slice of life nothing bad will ever happen it's just going to be a quiet sweet ride definitely not a show to mainline i completely agree there because i think you you will get diabetes but (laughs) um it it, it is very inoffensive and i mean that in the best sense it is just you know very relaxing um I, i i also did find it kind of weird of the wolf girl who not only does he rescue, they, they, they flash back to her just laying there, and he goes, and I rescued her, and they flash right. forward, like, that's the explanation, okay. <laughs> yep. um, she also, like, runs around in her underwear the entire time, which is kind of strange. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, it's just very, very, like, it's a backstory is, guy gets isekai into another world, um, and but he brings with him a, a knowledge of, how different herbs interact and so forth. And so he sets up a drugstore and people come and get it. Um, You know what? I will say the one moment in that anime that kind of just creeped me out a little bit, but not in a bad way, but just kind of like, oh, 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 okay. That's kind of funny. Is the old guy fixing the roof and the nails just come out of the (laughs) I'm like, okay, great. Yeah, I, I, I'm, firmly in the camp of when I've got nothing else going on and I just need like something to you know I'm doing my thing just want to watch something simple mm-hmm. that is going to be a complete go-to because it does not require you to think <laughs> it, just, it does no, not provide you with any all. kind of complex plot points that you're going to have to be like oh I remember that from last time it's like mm-hmm. oh hell no nope. <laughs> I just figured out this would be my antidote after I, if I am tricked into watching here Garashi there we go. There you there go. Very good. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, oh, 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 please, give me the, the, the drug Give me the wolf girl with the, with the wolf hands. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, there we go, Wesley. The, the plot twist is he, uh, he was a meth dealer in his, in his past life. And so <laughs> that's, he all knows all how often. I think I'd probably be like, yeah, okay, I respect okay, that. I, <laughs> that's the totally goal. He was I, Jesse Pinkman. All right, great. <laughs> yeah, I would love just the flip halfway through <laughs> and something becomes Breaking Bad for the next, like, yeah. six episodes. I spent so many years destroying people's lives with drugs. <laughs> now I saved them. Oh, oh he's okay. had a change of heart now that he's died nice. and come back. <laughs> nice. His meth lab exploded. That what blew him into the isekai. Ah, uh, <laughs> like, see, ah, there see. We go. <laughs> the, the tight plotting of an isekai series. Yes. Um, well, let's wrench ourselves in another direction again. <laughs> with the detective is already dead. Um, and this is about an hour long um, it's a double episode um, I love this one I really enjoyed this one um, it is uh, detective anime which if you've seen detective anime in the past you know that it's you know Agatha Christie usually it is not um, right. you know set, things are set up and we just kind of have explanations we go back and forth um, but you have fairly straightforward protagonist guy uh, who gets roped in with a a girl um, detective and then things start happening let's just say <laughs> yes and there, there's a yeah there, there are there are twists there are quite a few twists in this episode um, but okay, some of those action animation sequences I want to have on a continual loop in my house just gorgeous movement with you know action things going on without getting to spoilers. Um, yeah. Some really cool, cool moments there. Yes. A, a particularly notable one spot where it's like, holy, wow, that was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so so I, that must have been the yeah. part that I did not watch. Because okay. I could not make, I could not make Really? Yeah. Because I, I think that was in the first, was that in the first part? Yeah. Well, it was towards it, really. the end of the first part. Mm. When, okay. when, the, when the tentacle comes out of right. mm-hmm. okay, yes. the side of his head and I just went, 
<laughs> okay. Oh, All right. Oh. You had held in for a yeah. couple of minutes. You would have been. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I'm definitely gonna continue watching it because mm -hmm. I, I have. I mean, in the next several episodes, <laughs> and it's like, it's, it's got me interested. I'm a little mm -hmm. curious at 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 where he is in his schooling time. Mm -hmm. Um, as it seems to me that. If he was like in college, this would be somewhat more sensible. Sure. But you know, that's whatever. Just suspending that display. Anime, just, right? Yeah, let it ha mm -hmm. let it happen. Let the thing do its thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to age and appropriateness later on in this. Oh yes, we will. Uh, oh goodness. We will. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the animation style. The that one notable uh, real action sequence. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, you guys have like given us this in this first half of this mm -hmm. so you better damn well deliver when we get through get yeah. to the other side come on also one thing i appreciate is the writing in this being relatively tight in the sense that there's not a lot of you know um we were walking down i saw that thing you saw a thing yes i did what do you think i saw i i'm not sure what you saw you know what do you think you know oh look over the, you know it, it the the conversations are very much you know um um i need to find out x why would you need to find out um, uh, out about X? Because of this thing over here. Well, whatever. And so there, it, it's always two people, you know, exploring a topic as opposed to like parroting things back and forth and so forth, uh, which anyway tends to fall into a lot. Um, and they're comfortable th thus far, um, just not having to say anything that doesn't deal directly with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that you have a lot of things that I'm I'm guessing they're going to sprinkle in as we go mm -hmm. forward that'll flesh out stuff mm -hmm. but a great deal of it is just it's not part of what they are currently doing at that moment mm -hmm. so it's like you don't need to be like oh yes and we're gonna do this but it's because right uh, this thing that happened to me 10 years ago and blah blah, blah it's like nope nope it just, it's the thing right now mm -hmm. we're gonna do the thing and then we'll move forward mm -hmm. okay gotcha yeah I respect that position mm -hmm. Um, and I would say it's maybe PG-13 violence, sort of, you know, general. Um, yeah. Um, so, keeping, and, and, and I would say definitely aimed at an older audience in general. Like, it's, it's obviously, it's not, like, um, mature, but it's, right. it's you know, it, it's action with people talking, basically. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we have a little bit of, a, of an alphabetical switch up here. Um, the case study of Vanitas. Which is... I walked right past. Yeah. Um, um, two vampire guys oh, in... Oh, God, this. In, okay, in, 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 yeah. Um, Steve hated this season. <laughs> getting, Steve getting. controlled it in your enthusiasm. It's just leaking out everywhere. Um, two very, very handsome vampire guys i will yes. leave with that um uh who sort of battle over a um uh, a girl something's going on with a girl and you know they, they they fight over what's going on there um very much um uh people mentioned um uh oh gosh vampire list no uh, no no the the, the anime the series about levels. all of the um the reincarnated authors uh that's usually popular um, is it Bungo Stray Dogs? Is that what it is? is it? I, it might be. Um, I feel bad for not um, not knowing this because it is like absurdly, absurdly popular. Um, uh, do, 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 do that might or might not be it. Um, yes, that's it. Uh, anyway, um, so. That sort of flavor of hot young men in supernatural action sequences. Um, really, really cool action sequences. I would say the fight yeah. sequences in these are, are, are really well animated. Um, and it's very clearly going to be a series about two hot guys on adventures together. Um, who, uh, at least one of whom happens to be a vampire. Um, in steampunk Victorian England. Uh, or Victorian Paris. That, that was the only, actually, that was the one of two good things about the, the anime mm -hmm. was that the setting, like the airship, I loved oh, the concept of the airship. Yeah. I was drawn and 
grasped the idea of it, and I really enjoyed that. Um, and the steampunkness of it all. Mm -hmm. And the and you're right, the fight scenes were actually really pretty good. Mm -hmm. But then it was just like going, okay, so in this road trip comedy, this one is Jerry Lewis, and this one is Dean <laughs> Martin. Right? Martin yes. mm -hmm. And I'm just wow. like, I'm just like, uh, and you know, the whole concept is that there was one vampire with blue eyes who got a book and he's trying to destroy all the rest of the vampires and then this book falls into the hands of a human being and then the other vampire's there and he's looking for the book and, mm -hmm. and then they go on adventures and then he says this thing which I'm not going to say because I don't want to spoil it for those who might enjoy this mm -hmm. you know this is very much like a, a, a very much like a um, uh, interview with a vampire kind of vibe mm -hmm. to it which you know if you're into that kind of thing mm -hmm. But it's it's not Yaoi, at least I don't think it is. No, nope. um, not yet. Not yet. Um, but it, it 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 could easily go in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's this cryptic statement that's made at the end. It's just like, oh, okay, this is what you had to do to get people to watch. All right. Okay. Not five stars for me. <laughs> John, what about you? I I read the description of it and. I can't say as I was terribly um, upset that I wasn't there. You know, okay. um, I don't think from both of what you're saying that necessarily it fits into what I usually watch, so mm -hmm. I might uh, give it a pass. Okay. Um, I will definitely say it's, it's the kind of thing where um, the personalities of both of the heroes have to like click with you. And if you enjoy watching those two personalities, you know, clash or interact or whatever, like it's going to be for you. If not, it's just going to, you know, you know hard, that's hard a fair sell. way to put it. That's a fair way to put it. Yeah, yeah definitely aiming for the for, for the the female viewers and some male viewers. Yes. Um, so yeah, that is that is a thing. Um, but at least cool action. Um, moving on to the Duke of Death and his maid. Um, so this young man, um, I, I actually looked at Wikipedia and, uh, his age is never mentioned, which I think is interesting. Um. Makes it a lot less creepy. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's, he just, he's just a, you know, young adult male. Um, uh, he's been cursed to, to kill anything he touches. Um, but he, he lives with a, a very devoted maid, um, a very blessed devoted maid. Yeah. Um, who likes to tease him a lot, um, and it's sort of about the uh, the you know, wackiness ensues. Let's just say. Yes. Um, <laughs> it, it, okay. So, the main character, the Duke, reminds me of Gogosinki from Ranma. Oh, okay. You okay. Know, with the with, with the eyes, and I half expected the candles in this top hat. <laughs> you know, with the, you know, with the, <laughs> And, he, and, you know, and of course, now, the thing about this is that it's not just he, his mm. flesh touches, like, he, he wears gloves, and, but so right. any and direct he contact, yeah. he, 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 everything dies. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, of course, he's cursed, and he doesn't know why, and his family's abandoned him, his friends have abandoned him, one guy comes back and says he's his friend, you know, trying to be a real jerk. Mm -hmm. um, but throughout this... Boy, do you have to leave age out of this. Um, <laughs> throughout this, the the maid is just, oh my goodness, she is just giving him such a hard time teasing him. A and very hard time. Yep. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I, I don't even, just teasing him not in the way of, oh, ha ha, you know, calling him names, but teasing him as in, you know, mm -hmm. Let's get a uh, teasing him. Out of him. <laughs> yeah. And it's just and it's just so obvious and it's just like mm -hmm. it, it's like the animation is just geared towards and, and that's the other part, is that you, you see her face, mm -hmm. that's what you see, and then you see her endowments. <laughs> mm -hmm. Endowments. Yes, and, yes. and 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 that's what you see of her. Literally. Yeah, and, that's and, about and, it. And and, and and like five. And the, you know, yeah, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the was it territory? The um, 
the forbidden oh, territory. Did the, um, the absolute, uh, absolute territory. Absolute territory, yeah. Territory. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh -huh. it's the absolute territory. You see a lot of absolute territory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you watch this and you realize, oh, God, I can't. Oh, no, no, please. Hey, please tell me that they're, they're adults. <laughs> you watch this and you're just like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Like, I could just see the police, like, knocking down the door and going, you're, you're under arrest. It's so not. Mm -hmm. So not appropriate. Mm -hmm. But I laughed. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was say I was interested in the, in the the animation style of it. Yeah, it was, it's Unique. like it's like yeah. it was really interesting to watch the, the how the character modeling worked and how they were moving things around in the space. Mm -hmm. um, Oops, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> several things moving around. Moving around yeah, uh, <laughs> vast tracts of land. I uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm gonna. I want to know more of it. The storyline of it. Mm. Like this was fun enough to get you know the eye candy that was involved in it, mm -hmm. to, like to get you through the doorway to be like, okay, mm -hmm. what's going on? So I'd like to see some more of this to see where is this gonna go. He mm -hmm. has an inkling about the the words he can remember, mm -hmm. how he ended up with this condition, mm -hmm. and it's like so you're gonna have presumably this is going to go that journey to figure mm -hmm. out how this did happen and it's like I'm, I'm kind of curious yeah because why it, can he not touch things while he's wearing gloves like that's mm -hmm. kind right. of a what is it um anna paquin um x-men rogue rogue, rogue. Yeah. she wears gloves, gloves. to protect mm -hmm. herself yep. from yep. touching anybody mm -hmm. and taking their powers so it's like the first time he touches something and it dies and it's just like wait a minute mm -hmm. he's wearing gloves. Like, you're wearing gloves mm -hmm. you, sh you should yeah. be fine Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh boy, okay. So this is a different kind of take mm -hmm. on that. So I'm curious yeah. to know where it's going to go. Yeah, and the thing. Go ahead. I was going to say, to answer your question, Wesley, in the chat, um, all we know is that a witch cursed him with with this right. this curse. Yeah. Uh, we don't know why. The the thing of this anime is that there is a very intriguing story that mm -hmm. does grab you, and it does have a sweet ending to the first episode sure yeah definitely you know and you do want to know more and you do want to watch but then you know at a certain point for some of us we go okay are we past this part of it <laughs> i'm sure or, not are we gonna get more of that because we probably mm -hmm. are that's actually well, a great the lore that's kind of in there yeah, yeah. It's a great point. Like this, the first episode hits of a pretty wide variety of emotional tones. Where like there's there's the the goofy sort of sex comedy stuff, but then there's also like his depression, the fact that like nobody wants to be around him, um, and then also kind of the backstory stuff of what what is actually going on with his family and why are supernatural curses just a thing? Yeah. Um, so there are a lot of different directions they could go with this. I think totally. Somebody should be calling in a shaman for this. <laughs> yep. Shaman king. Hey, there dun, we go. Dun, dun. Um, and uh, speaking of magic and stuff, we move to another Isekai series from this season, The Dungeon of Black Company, uh, which seems to be this year's um, um, commentary on... The Japanese work culture. Don't get me started. <laughs> um, so it's very subtle. It's yeah, very, very subtle. subtle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sort of like a I, I, head. I, I, I'm, I'm like, like, is the bruise gone from the two by four that <laughs> smacked me with, you know, um, labor strife? So yeah. So basically, guy gets isekai'd, ends up he he is he he managed to sort of get a lot of cool uh, great investments when he was in the real world and didn't have to work. Um, and then ended up in a fantasy world where he's working for the man and, you know, 16 tons, what do you get? Um, <laughs> for those who... That, boy, that's an obscure reference for the vast majority of people watching this. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, working in a mine, you know, a, a deep in debt to, 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 the, to the company, um, and then finds out various uh, various ways that he can make more money by exploiting the workers, basically. Right. Like, like, the lessons were not learned. No. Like, you know? No. <laughs> the lessons were not learned. So the, it starts out with him taking a shower with a butt shot that we didn't need, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then he comes out and he explains his backstory of how he got rich and all this stuff. And he wants to live the life of a sloth. Like, he just mm -hmm. doesn't want to 
do any work, and so it goes in this Isekai world, where a magical Isekai world, where there's, you know, half lizard, half men, half whatevers. And <clears throat> so then he figures out a way to make more money, so that's what he does. And, like, it, again, exploits the workers, and it's just like, going, I'm like going, okay, so basically I think the Isekai is about you learning a lesson, mm -hmm. and you're not learning no. it right now. Mm -hmm. and, and well, if, right now, yes. Right, mm -hmm. right now, so further on he'll probably figure it out mm -hmm. and he makes friends with the, the big dragon baddie that turns into you know mm -hmm. yeah. at least we have a dragon lolly i mean yeah, yeah a dragon yeah. Lolly, yeah. <laughs> if you can't have kana you might as well have pretty much yeah right mm -hmm. pretty much and it's and it's just i mean it's not it's not a horrible there are laughs in this mm -hmm. you know, there are funny things that go on mm -hmm. in here and but it's just kind of like like the first person he recruits, he just recruits them because, oh, you're no threat to me whatsoever. So that's why I'm going to recruit you. You don't have like this guy has his great. right, yeah. right. This guy has his wonderful little monologue, his half monster is like, thank you for choosing me. I know I'm not that bright, and he's going through this whole thing, and you think, well, you know, you have hard work and determined. No, no, it's just like, no, you're 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 a schmuck. So that's why I hired you. <laughs> yeah, a lot of love there. Mm-hmm. I still think it'll be a fun ride. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna hang with that one for a fun ride. Yeah, I think it's one of those epi those shows too. It feels like that first episode was very much set up. Yeah, and so I think once we get you know four, five, seven episodes in, it'll kind of hit its stride, and you know it'll it'll, it'll find its level. Um, and he might get his learn his his learning moment, Steve. You never know. Yeah. Could happen. Could happen. Could happen. As long as it drives comedy, I don't care what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, uh, and then we have, um, to switch it over, an another comedy, but a different kind of comedy, Girlfriend, Girlfriend. Um, I have laughed a lot at this one. I did too. Partly because, yeah. to so be clear, it, it is very much playing off of romantic comedy tropes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is its, its shtick. It, it, it is two, two, two by four slapping. Yeah. This stuff is so hard. Yeah. Um, so, very uh, determined guy. You know, very seri serious in the sense that, like, if he wants something, he's going to go after it. And so, like, he, there, he has the childhood friend who he's been asking out every week for the past, like, what, six years? Something like that. Yeah, it's been, like, yeah. basically forever in their lives. <laughs> um, and she's sort of a tsundere. Um, she accepts his invitation. And then um, uh, shortly thereafter, another girl confesses to him. Uh, and she's the Yamato Nadeshko, right? She's the dutiful wife type, you know, makes him meals, does all these, these things. Um, spends five hundred dollars on all the ingredients to make his bento, you know. Um, so he only has the best, um, and so um, he is so overwhelmed by her devotion. But you know, he he wants to do right by. You know, he can't just break up with his current girlfriend, so he makes the logical decision, Literally the logical, logical choice, Literally. to go out with both oh, of them. <laughs> exactly. Actually, at this point, it's probably yeah. It, 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 oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he basically uh, proposes to both of them like openly and says, "We, you know, I should date both of you at the same time." Um, the thing that that made me laugh at that point when he did that was was her reaction, the original girlfriend's reaction, which is just like, "Oh my god, oh my god, what are you saying? What are you saying?" And then he looks at and she looks at the girl and she's like, oh, "You're so cute. Oh my god." And I'm just like, going, "Oh, okay, here we go." Here, the ride has started. Okay, we are we are about to go over the top and go yeah. down. And, yeah. <laughs> and isn't it convenient that he has no parents there? Right. They can and all they live together. House. It's great. And, and, and and like he calls the little girl's parents. Little girl, that's bad. Like, like the, the stature, little. Not, not right. Young, yes, exactly. mm -hmm. Um, calls her parents and says, "Oh, it's okay if she stays with me." And the parents apparently are okay with that. That's you know? cool. <laughs> they even show like a screenshot of like his phone laying there, and like he says, "You know, I want to." And the response is something like, "Sounds great to me." You know, right. check mark. It's like, All right. <laughs> well, they they're. They're really doing the harem thing in a way that's oh my like, God. 
yes, you guys have done this to the ridiculous degree that it is. Yeah. It is um, harem anime on feminines. I mean, it yeah, is. I mean, it's his character at first. I'm like, wow, he's an absolute idiot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he is. He's very dedicated. And then when the second girl comes along, and he's like, yeah, let's go talk to another girlfriend. I want to go out with you too. I'm like. Okay, <laughs> that just that just went a direction I I really wasn't expecting. <laughs> like, this will be okay. Like mm -hmm. looking at the cover art for the thing, I'm mm -hmm. like, this is going to like I'm sticking in for this. I'm, yeah, I want to see what kind of train wreck this okay, is going to become. I was just going to say this is a train. This is this is the you know Randy Rose death of a plane and a train with boss. You know, yeah. this, this is, is this is all three coming together at the same time. And to give you an idea, but, this is going to Hindenburg quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Um, it is it is so. But the thing the thing the lovely thing about this anime is that it is so over the top. You're not going to take any of this seriously yeah, yeah. and you're going to just laugh this is just right. good for a good laugh yeah, it is it is a situation romantic comedy right yeah. where it's like here's a ridiculous thing we're going to put the characters into it but do not take it seriously at all yeah. um and to give you an idea of the the overall tone uh we get to see both of the girls in the bath by the end of the episode <clears throat> take that as you will um <laughs> Um, shifting over to a show that is um, still a harem, but definitely a, a different kind of harem, was How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom. Um, yes. Another isekai anime, um, but more in... Um, it's actually kind of funny how we, we talked about how isekai is sort of evolving over time to be more sort of um, concept-driven. It's not just, you're in a new world, have fun. Um, and this is where the main character gets... Transported to a kingdom that's sort of in shambles, and um, they propose something to him, and he's like, "No, let's just fix your kingdom. Yeah. Let's just figure out how 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 to fix your economy and make sure the, po the politics are all working and all this kind of stuff." Um, and he starts uh, digging into all of that and, and what their finances are like and how to improve relations with the other kingdom and so forth. And then, of course, girls start showing up. Um, exactly, um, but. Looking very suspiciously like <coughs> from uh, Gundam Wing. Oh yes, yes, yeah. that that is very true. Also, the girl from Maggie Brilliant Park. Right. Uh, yeah, so that was, I thought so, it was yeah. like Maggie Brilliant Park right there. Um, and it it's it's weird because on on the one hand, like visually, it's very much Isekai series, character designs, artistically, all that kind of stuff. Um, budget, um, yeah. it's hard to say because like there's no action in the first episode. It's right. really just kind of, right. uh, dialogue. <clears throat> Fine. Lip flap. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And completely, completely workable. Um, but the the concept is fresh enough, and kind of his approach to things is fresh enough that I, I stayed intrigued. I when it came on and I read the little thing, you know, John was like, yeah, I, I was just like, mm, do I pass or not? Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm kind of isekai'd out. I got to like, admit, I'm, I'm kind of isekai'd out. A bit. And so I was just like, going, okay, no, I'm gonna watch everything, and I'm just gonna you know, plow through or try to plow through. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I started watching it and it was different enough for mm -hmm. me that it was um, very much um, enjoyable. Um, it, in, in, you know, talking about it, it really is not the first episode. Really, if you're looking for action, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, there's some talk about, you know, wars and how things are, are <laughs> happening and, and, you know, stuff like that. And the king, you want to punch in the throat just because he's just yeah. so indecisive. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what doing. He is like the thirteenth, no. you know, reigning monarch. Yeah. So like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and then and then I discovered why I enjoyed this show <clears throat> to a certain extent, and I was just like, oh yeah, I used to do that for theaters. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's what I used to do, kind wow. of, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Although, you know, it wasn't like nation building, but, you know, <laughs> you, know, you know, consulting for theaters. And, you know, mm -hmm. not a, nation not of other. Steve Landia. <laughs> the trains of Pachinko. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just really neat, and it's kind of fun how when they isekai them, when they mm -hmm. uh, brought them to the world, the book that he drops is Machiavelli. Yep. Yeah. And he draws everything from that. 
-hmm. and the 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 explanations he gives are reasonable to that Mm -hmm. and it's just it's just a neat way to introduce yeah series. Well, one of the other interesting things, and I don't know how much this has evolved. Last time I checked on the scholarship of Machiavelli the Prince, there was controversy over whether that book was meant as a form of satire. Um, Right. So he was sort of saying, you know, yeah, you can just, you know, wring everything to, to, um, uh, to bits, but if, you know, we all know that that's a bad idea. Um, and so my, my hope is, and it certainly looks like in, in this series, they're kind of taking that route where he's studied all of these things about, you know, how to, how to, how to rule a nation, how to organize things. But he also recognizes like when things can go well or poorly. Right. Um, right. Well, yeah. he was studying to be a civil servant. Like that's True, what yeah. he wanted mm-hmm. to do. Mm-hmm. Local civil servant. <laughs> so it wasn't like he had some magical. Oh, I did kendo in high school, so therefore <laughs> I'm going to be. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought it was an Look interesting take from. What was it several seven seasons ago? It was like genius children are coming to our world or something like that, where it was oh. a bunch of like super yeah. powered mm-hmm. genius yep, kids. Yep, 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 yep. Love that show. This, you don't. There, you just don't. You're, they don't just show up and be like, "Hey, the system's kind of terrible. Let's have a revolution and we'll make our own country." Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. We'll use our, you know, our advanced knowledge of stuff and build a super factory and do all of a sudden, it comes in and it's just like, it's kind of ridiculous how things evolved to him sure. leading this charge into a new future. But it is so low key. Versus mm, him, right. like leading the rebellion. You know, it's like, right. you know, it's like okay, this. If you're gonna like go full out crazy, this is probably the least crazy of them. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, he, it's like, he, he's no Lelouch. He's no Lelouch. Right. Yes. Right. I mean, and that's where <laughs> I'll be. No. I, I I will be disappointed if it gets into like you know we need to really do something about our stock exchange so this is what i propose mm-hmm. stock plan da, 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 da. <laughs> we're gonna need to have found an sec i'm like mm-hmm. you know i hope it doesn't go there yeah because then yeah. that's gonna be as i think it's you brent it's like craft lawrence and holo in spice and wolf mm-hmm. when we learn about medieval uh exchange rates and mm-hmm. trade after a while, it's like, wow, I know a lot more about that than I ever wanted to in my life. <laughs> so I'm mm-hmm. hoping they're going to take a road on this where the entertainment value yeah. outweighs the, like, let's talk about the restructuring of, like, civil servants in, mm-hmm. like, the kingdom. They're like, mm. Yeah. So I look forward That's to see where they're going to go in the next several episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I do think they did a good job of assuming it it, it, it goes there, but I have a very strong understanding understanding and feeling of what the show is going to be like moving forward. Like it doesn't feel like it's going to go in a weird direction from here. Right. But who knows? Maybe he'll become Lelouch. There's of some big, big action. Right. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, there is that, that mm-hmm. dangles overall. This is, there's going Definitely. to be big action somewhere. In there. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be a, a, an interesting build up to that action okay. to see how we, uh, how we mm-hmm. iron out the wrinkles. Mm-hmm. Faints you know, within faints within faints. It'll probably involve uh, one of these several Moe girls that are sort of circling around him. Yes. Um, they involved a proposal of marriage. Ooh. Uh, speaking of I'm action... not a spoiler, I don't know. That, yeah. I, yeah. Just, <laughs> everybody's like, I don't know that, I'm just saying. Um, speaking of action, the Idaten deities know only peace. Um, your Dragon Ball Z of the season, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Um... Uh, the Idaten deities know only peace. Uh, it is a um, basically four kids, although they're like 200 years old or something, um, are the inheritors of a um, uh, long-standing tradition of this this se- this demon seal. A bunch of se- demons have been sealed behind this seal for 800 years, and these four kids uh, uh, have been. Um, set aside to to defend that um but it's been 800 years before anything's uh, since anything's happened so they're a little lax they're a little relaxed uh they haven't really been been uh um, as as effortful as they could be and so of course the demons show up again um so it is very much you know they, they can they can run around the world in you know two hours they can fly 
they can do all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, you know, they, they can drop kick uh, a Minotaur, you know, is that kind of a thing. Uh, very, very fun, ridiculous shonen series. Um, again, very Dragon Ball Z, um, but um, really high budget in terms of the amount of, of action, animation, and movement. There's just tons of, 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 of fights in this. Um, you know, Naruto, Shaman King. It actually felt a lot like Shaman King sort of artistically. Um, and I think the reason it got adapted is because the manga is at least illustrated by the illustrator of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Uh, yeah, and so I think they're, they're kind of adapting all of those <laughs> now. Okay. Um, Fair uh, but just, uh, yeah, just peak shonen. Pretty much, um, and I don't think you guys got a chance. To, yeah, um, totally yeah, and it's possible this is one of those like something that came out like last season that I, I missed or something. But yeah, I saw mm-hmm. the little description of it when Brent when you told me about it. I'm like, I'm not gonna be sad. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Shonen. Just sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, it is. It is precisely that. <laughs> uh, moving on to Kageki Shoujo. Which is a shoujo series. Ah. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> Sorry. So for those familiar with the Takarazuka Review, uh, or for those not familiar, rather, uh, the Takarazuka Review is a century-old um, theater company in Japan uh, that uh, has an all-female cast, and they put on uh, musical theater productions, basically. They've been doing it for a very long time, very storied. Um, and a lot of shoujo sort of came out of plots of Takarazuka Review shows. Um, so The Rose of Versailles, for example, was, was big in Takarazuka Review and has been, you know, adapted. Um, uh, Osama Tezuka's Princess Knight, I believe, was inspired by Takarazuka Review stuff. Um, and this anime is about two girls, well, a bunch of girls, uh, but two girls specifically who are coming into the 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 new um, uh, crew of the... of It's got a different name, but it's exactly that in the anime series. Um, and the two girls, I don't have a spoiler to say, one of them is the bright, cheerful, upbeat girl who's just, you know, bouncing around, you know, having fun. Uh, <laughs> um, and then the very serious girl with a... Difficult past. Who's kind of trying to get past that past, so to speak, um, and is basically Rei Ayami, um, and the two of them, you know, uh, uh, you know, and guess who? Guess who are roommates together? Ah, right. Oh. You know, that kind of thing. oh no! What a plot twist! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I tried. I tried hard to like it. I did, um, because there were certain elements in this that that. As you guys know, some of you guys know, uh, having worked in theater and office, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, so I was just like, well, okay, this is, you know, not exactly my thing, but, mm-hmm. you know, I'll give it a try and, and go. And I just wanted it so, so badly something. And it it just, it, this is one of those things where it's me, not you, sure. mm-hmm. meaning <laughs> the collective you. Right. It's me. It's just not mine. It's just not my thing. Mm-hmm. And it's just, that's why I'm. I couldn't grab into it and just be like, okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And the cute little bubbly girl from China, and you know, I wanted to reach the screen and throttle her because it was just so <laughs> annoying. And you know, the girl who, who who has the problem with the singing, she has a lovely voice apparently, but for some reason she can't do it when, she, when she's supposed to. Mm-hmm. And you know, with this story, like you said, this story school. So there's, the concept is very interesting, and, mm-hmm. and and it's definitely for it's a shojo. So it's definitely for if you shojo. This is good for you. Mm-hmm. Is, you know, yeah. seriously, just go ahead and watch. It. Yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, but if you're not shojo, I mean, um, or not as a shojo, then it's going to be hard. Yeah, if the Daten deities is peak shonen, this is peak shojo. He's got all those things in there. There's a little, there's a little hint of Yuri, in there possibly. Bit, yeah. You know, so um, yeah. yeah. I saw the I saw the write up of it, and mm-hmm. it, I missed it today. Mm-hmm. Um, but the write up of it, it didn't 
spark my interest particularly mm -hmm. so i was yeah. like okay that's not, you know that might be if we go through this discussion and it's like mm -hmm. oh my gosh this is a you know super crazy yeah. it's awesome you need to do this thing then i'd be like okay then i'd go back it might also end up so if you're into shoujo and sports anime there's a bit of a crossover sense there because they're you know learning to they're learning this particular theatrical style right where it's not just ballet or singing or whatever it's all these different parts so you know that could be uh, they could delve into more of that in the, in the anime too. Well, Tashi no Kramer for yeah. the theater. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so we promised we'd talk about it. We're going to talk about it now. The Mother of Goddess Dormitory. Um, a. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. Um, th <laughs> this is uh, um, twelve-year-old boy. Let's just say down on his luck, having a rough time of his life, uh, and so he ends up getting um, rescued off the streets by a beautiful young woman whose panties he can see, um, uh, and then brought to a dormitory uh, for goddesses. I'm sorry, uh, for yes, for goddesses um, who are all happen to be college age girls, um, and because he is good at cooking and cleaning and such. He becomes their dorm mother, which is great because they like, you know, one of them likes uh, to not wear clothes. Um, and yeah, it's, it's that. It's very much that. Um, yeah. He literally, when he walks in, the first, the, it's within 30 seconds, he is in the, he's walking into the bath and there they all are in the bath. Oops. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, and the camera kind of lingers. And... <clears throat> On the one hand, like John and I were talking about this, um, and you, you made the great point that if he were fourteen, it would absolutely be like the you know the the um, the, you know, the, the fantasy, right? He's a little too young for that. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Um, well, it's also it's it's like Seikun Women's University dorm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the university hiring standards are wonderful. You hire twelve-year-olds nowadays. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't see this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one skipped my. Actually, this one skipped my radar. Mm. I totally didn't come across this. One. Mm -hmm. This one's um uh, by the way uh, on high dive, not Crunchyroll That's or Funimation. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I just mm -hmm. take Crunchyroll. Yeah. Um, it should also be pointed out. Um, uh, uh, why full, I gotten that job when I was 12? <laughs> full detail. Um, because you probably didn't want everybody to end up in jail. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, from the waist up, you will see everything, to be clear. Um, the high dive version has some steam, but not enough to cover that. Um, and there's plenty of versions that don't have any steam at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that that's a thing, too. Um, yeah, I just couldn't stop being creeped out by the premise. Um, he's constantly getting embarrassed by this, and and again, imagine if it was gender swapped. Imagine if it was a twelve-year-old girl surrounded by yeah. guys who were, you know, uh, you know, getting naked around her. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. no, 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 uncomfortable, uncomfortable. So that's yeah. that. That that. I, <laughs> I mean, I've watched some where it's like the ridiculous premise is there. Mm -hmm. Um, what it what is um. Uh, Love Hina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he shows up and he's it's his uh, isn't it sure. like his aunt's uh, boarding house? Yeah, I, boarding I haven't house seen there. it. So I'm the manager. Yeah, That's it's like so over it's. Over I think he's a college student, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a Ronin. Tokyo U to fund his loan. Mm -hmm. Right. So so you know what I mean like I'm familiar Friends. with this this sure. this formula. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know how this works. For the love of me, why did you dial him down to 12? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. like... You, you well, could've... in fairness, it's because that way, if he, he's young enough to not potentially actually act on it... Anything. Right, yeah, I think that's... Enough. Right, that, that's the intent, but it's... it's No, no. It doesn't work, it sounds like. Yeah, it, I mean, mm. it, it's... It's just it's there's there's a lot of problems with like, just him being there and being the expert cook and house cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, at twelve. 
Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's not well, any kind of, Which, granted, you know, th- th- there are plenty of 12-year-olds out there who, you know, do a lot of chores and you can do all that stuff. Yeah. But it's putting him to work <laughs> right. doing that. It's like, oh. And, like, we have no backstory. We have nobody mm-hmm. being concerned for a, a, a poor, wandering, lost child. They mm-hmm. don't have child protective services, apparently. Mm-hmm. That... that city yeah so just, just randomly take in mm-hmm. he, he was able to escape from his uncle's little hidden dungeon <laughs> that's, that's what and so now he'll be with the you know uh, his five and uh, work out the mm-hmm. like, wow yeah um so, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's a thing it's a thing <laughs> um <laughs> speaking of bucks and ladies let's talk about peach boy riverside um uh, which is <laughs> Um, almost the, the goblin slayer of this season yeah. in terms of the dark twists and turns. Yeah. Um, violence more than anything else. Yeah. yeah. Um, so adventure, fantasy adventure story, very much so, with a very odd art style. Yes. Um, like most of the characters have a very normal anime art style, but then there's one character that is not. Yeah. Um, gotta get used to that one. And I don't know. Um, then... Yeah, uh, bad things happen to people uh, later on in that episode, um, and then they 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 reveal a few more um, fantastical things. Again, high budget animation, definitely an action uh, animation thing. Uh, the typical people can jump thirty feet from a standstill and then do a roundhouse kick kind of thing. Um, I have a tough time understanding. What this show is? It's anime. Yes, <laughs> it is. Sorry. Literally, literally, that's what you have. Sorry, it's anime. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that answers that's all the questions. Right? I mean, mm-hmm. literally, <laughs> a former princess who's no longer a princess, who's on a quest. A Maybe quest. Maybe yeah. I, comes across a a, a helper friend <laughs> in in a fufu. Oddly mm-hmm. enough, I mean, you know, okay, and she feeds the little rabbit thing, and the mm-hmm. rabbit thing becomes her protector, and mm-hmm. does the, you know, whatever, and then there's this whole racism thing that goes on, mm-hmm. and, you know, of course, at the end, there's a huge fight scene, decent budget, and it's kind of interesting, yeah. but, and then, right in the middle of all of that, is the scene in the marketplace, and suddenly, there's a three-second octopus tentacle rape scene. And it's just like, and just like, just like here it is, and then there it goes. Yeah. It's like, ah. Um. Ah, I, I, why? I, 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 I did get some information from this because we had um, uh, uh, someone uh, during our watch party talk about this. Uh, he actually went back and read the manga of this, um, and it turns out the anime starts like way into the storyline. Um, and that was a thing that had happened already in the story. That she was thinking, rem- she was remembering happened to her. Right. Which does not make it all make sense when you're watching it. It is not at all clear. Yeah. They're trying to cover a lot of territory. Yes, they are. Um, which, I, I mean, I like you know, having seen the Momotaro Peach Boy right. thing. Um, I was, when, you know, this came up and I read the synopsis and I was watching the episode, I'm like, okay, you know, that's, I, I can, I can kind of get on board with this. It's gotten mm-hmm. a little more shown in than than I usually watch, but it's mm-hmm. like, I kind of get on board because I want to know, yeah, why couldn't you have had yeah. Momotaro multiple times? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Why couldn't you have had a god mm-hmm. setting a peach in the river and mm-hmm. just doing this to basically see what happens? Yeah. Like, seeding the world in a way to see what the end result would be. Mm-hmm. Not out of any, nif- you know, terrible intent, but... Mm-hmm. You're a commie. You, maybe you're bored. You know, you've got yeah. things that have just been going on for eons. So you do something to liven things up a little. Mm-hmm. It's like, I, that's what I'm curious to see is like, where are they going to go with why is yeah. she a peach girl? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, how does this all come about? So yeah. mm-hmm. I'm curious to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, definitely a surprise Yeah. for, for yeah. me this season. Um, and I'm waiting for her, her companion friend to like, have the crazy morph power where she turns into a bunny girl. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And not and right. not just being a bunny girl. girl. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll make sense when you watch. Yeah. 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 
Um, let's switch over to a show that I really enjoyed, to, to my surprise, Remake Your Life, or Remake, yes. um, yeah, which I think I, I mistyped here, not Remake Our Life, Remake Your Life, isn't it? Yes, that is, oh yeah, I really like that one, that was a gem for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is Remake Our Life, I, yeah, okay. Um, um, so, Odd Concept, um, uh, no remake. yeah, um, young man, um, wanted to get into video games, got into video games uh, out of college, um, he had had basically two job offers, one from sort of a more creative arts university, one from more of a, um, digital technology, if you will, sort of a degree, he went th that one path, uh, worked for a game company, put his life and soul, and heart and soul into it, and then it just all fell apart, basically, um, through circumstances beyond his control. Um, and so now he's, I think, 31, 29, 31, something yeah. like that. And he's uh, just really feeling depressed that it just didn't work out. I think, no, I think he's 26. 26? 26. And, okay. and the same thing happens to him twice. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. He works yeah. for two tech companies. Yeah. 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 Good, good call. Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, that's right, because he, he's frustrated about that, he meets the woman, and then it happens right, again. Right. Yeah, he could have had one career path to be boring, or he could have had the career path of being mm. artsy. Mm -hmm. And he chose the boring because he thought it was safe. Mm -hmm. And then he yeah. ended up in that things going wrong in yeah. the tech company. So, yeah. um, and I'm not spoiling what he was studying. I'm yeah, exactly. Um, and then, and again, this is all sort of in the summary on Mal. Uh, he wakes up 10 years earlier um, in his, you know, at that point where he could have chosen the other path with the full knowledge of how poorly it went that way and decided to take the other path. Right. Um, and explore how else it could have gone. This is... I, it, I, <clears throat> I really want to watch more of this. This uh, when because they did such a great job of it describing how badly the one path went. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's and one of the things that was interesting to me was like the first job that things that didn't have work out for him. He's just kind of like, okay, I was there and I did these things, but it just didn't work out. And so this game is is going out, and you know I was a part of that. It's nice, but I, I don't have a job there anymore. Mm -hmm. And so he's upset because he's having to go back home and he's looking for another job and he finds another job at another, you know, game tech company and he's working for this woman, the woman that I'm sure we're going to see later. And, you know, um, and he does, and again, he's just like, okay, this is what I did wrong, what I think I did wrong at this one job, and this is what I'm going to do right. And he just works to yes yeah, mm -hmm. pours his soul and, and like he becomes thing. like the whole thing and people are appreciative of what he's doing he's working really hard and he knows that he's putting in hours he's not going to pay for but he's okay with that mm -hmm. you know he's got a little bit of respect he's got you know responsibilities and things are kind of clicking for him and he's mm -hmm. doing what he knows how to do he's not the guy and, from dungeon of black company right and yeah. he oh total opposite yeah <laughs> And, I was thinking he could have he could have gone that path. Mm -hmm. so he yeah, started and then, investing in things ten years ago. Right. And then again, through circumstances out of his control, <laughs> um, things nosedive, and he goes back, and then that's when, when the, the, the magical thing happens. And one again, one of the reasons why I, I really like this show was again it mirrors my own life because when you work in nonprofit theater, those are the things that happen. And so you know, one of the things that you know. You can put as much effort as you can into that, and sometimes things just don't work yeah. out. And, you know, you're just like, oh. and one of the best, kind of best parts, but what they did very accurately was just like everybody just kind of sitting there going, "What, what the hell is all this for?" Yeah, you know that kind of thing, and then compounded with, you know, when you're then in charge of a project, mm -hmm. and then having your superiors come to you and go, "Oh yeah, guess what? Um, mm -hmm. We're not doing this anymore, so you have to fire your entire staff." Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know so they they're accurately doing that so i was appropriately depressed by the time <laughs> that, uh, that the uh that the the magic moment came and i was mm -hmm. just like I, and i'm like well, maybe if i go to sleep tonight maybe i'll <laughs> and it was it is very very good and it's very very positive. 
And in fairness, I, I do think one of the reasons it appealed to us is because it's about the working world and about how the working world is is I don't want to say it's 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 not fair. I don't think that's kind of the point it's making, but the, the fact that things happen outside of your control because this is a company making you know. 18 different games and you know all different priorities going on and this person likes this and this works out that, that doesn't work out and so things can just not work out not because somebody is right. trying to destroy your career but right. you know things just don't work out business is business mm -hmm. yeah um i'm i'm now three episodes into it mm -hmm. and thoroughly enjoying it great as i had said to you brent i my innate curiosity has me wondering how did you get there? Mm -hmm. How did what, what was the thing that happened? But you know what? That's not distracting me so much from the story that I'm mm -hmm. like, I just can't focus. I don't know what's yeah. going on. No, I'm, I'm hopeful that they'll maybe address that, but mm -hmm. it's really... They... It, it's I guess it's the nature of the isekai thing mm -hmm. now is the fact that you could just do the isekai and then go on with yeah. the story. Mm -hmm. It's right. like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't need to talk to you about the mechanics, the summoning mm -hmm. process. Oh, you know, you have to sacrifice somebody and you have to be a certain alignment. <laughs> no, it's just like, and Isekai, now here we going with the story. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, <laughs> yep. that's different. <laughs> mm -hmm. How would you say the tone is, because I've only seen episode one, how, how would you say the tone is of the episodes beyond episode one? Is it, does it have that hopefulness for your new career? tone to it it takes a, without like wrecking it for anybody sure I mean, it, it takes a a really good tact mm -hmm. where he doesn't you could very easily have a situation where it's like I know everything that's going to happen so this is what we're going to do mm -hmm. and control everything that's happening mm -hmm. no he legit embraces the choice that he's made now that mm -hmm. he's had the second chance mm -hmm. And he is applying that earnest work ethic mm -hmm. towards this thing to be successful at it, but also to learn all the things that he feels like are critical points. Okay, interesting. That okay. Will, under, will underpin his success and subsequently mm -hmm. underpin the success of others in the program with him. Mm hmm. So it's like all that you saw when he's like, "Hey, can you help me with this this problem with the with the game?" Mm -hmm. And he was jumping around the game office trying to mm -hmm. get everybody to everybody. He's learned to like pull that more tightly together, so mm -hmm. he's not strung out. Yeah. But Good. still, that same idea. It's like I have things that I have to improve. I have things that I have to change, mm -hmm. and I have to do that in a way that is progression that we all will progress. Yeah. Interesting. And it's like, right. Yeah, it's uh, nice. There's a there's a uh, conversation in the chat I want to kind of pull in, into this and ask ask you, John. Do you think a high schooler would find this anime compelling? Do you want my nice answer or do you want my the real answer? <laughs> the real answer. The, the nice answer would, would be, oh, of course, naturally, this right. is entirely if people buy into this. Mm -hmm. uh, no, this is this is squarely a shotgun chest yeah. to all of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, that yeah. t it's ten years, so that's a short time period. But I mean, mm -hmm. just dial that out, mm -hmm. and just you know, everybody who's an adult, everybody who's worked crappy jobs is working a crappy job, mm -hmm. and well, has yeah, had those this. yeah, you know, yeah. has had those moments of, gosh, you know, here's a point. I can think of in my own life mm -hmm. where if I just turned the other mm -hmm. direction and been able to say, you know what, I know what happens if I made that choice. Mm -hmm. So now let me embrace the other choice, be open to it, and then see how right. things unfold. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, I think that's squarely what it runs to. It's uh, okay. a yeah. high school kid. You know, it's a neat that you could be like, "Wow, I hope I don't make choices like sure, that." Sure, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. They're at that moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah. do I go to university or do I, you know, do I do I want to weld? Do mm -hmm. I want to be in right. theater? Right. Do I want to mm -hmm. do these things? They're at that critical juncture. Mm -hmm. Might this give you a little primer to be like, well, mm -hmm. if you do like a boring degree and then try and segue into something else, it might not work now. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but adult all the way back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah, wish sure. I had not done that choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. 
um, yeah, a real anime gut shot series. <laughs> yeah. Wesley calls it, and I think it's a great way of putting it. Speaking of gut shots, um, let's talk about Seirei Gensoki Spirit Chronicles. Uh, oh boy. So this is about a um, uh, <laughs> guy who's, who's um, in a bus that gets hit by a... Uh, no, he's in a... You know, Buzz gets hit by a train. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gets isekai'd. Um, to give you an idea, there are there's like a kid on the bus when it happens, and it's clear she did not make it out of there. Um, yeah. He ends up isekai'd. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, he ends up isekai'd, but he is clearly like there is a ten year old ish boy in that new world that he kind of gets downloaded into yeah. who already has like a past and so forth. And so the boy is suddenly remembering all of these things about Japan, but he is the boy. He's not the Japanese guy. So yeah. he's starting to get some of that information in, but he is living this life as this kid in the slums, um, living with a bunch of thieves, I guess. Yeah. Who had kidnapped the, Instance. Yes. Sort of um, like thief mercenary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of uh, scoundrels yeah. and rogues. Very much. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, Who don't last long. No, they do not. Um, uh, and... I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> That's a spoiler. I'm not commenting. <laughs> um, uh, it could be... Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> exactly. <but yeah. laughs> right. Moving on. Um, past 10. Moving yeah. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, he, he's in a very rough spot. The, these are not nice people. And um, an investigation um, is going on for this lost princess. He sort of gets wrapped up in all of that. Um, uh, and then he ends up getting uh, pulled back to the, the castle to, to investigate, whereupon bad he things happen to him happen. again. Oh, oh. yeah. Boy. Yeah. Um, kids I, and not, animals. I'm not comfortable typically yeah, with I, kids and I, animals I, I, in rough I, situations. I was close to going done and just yeah. moving on from, from that. Yeah. Um, but it's relatively brief. Um, yeah. Um, and then it turns into uh, uh, a thing. fantasy isekai anime thing. Yeah. Um, a thing. It turns into an isekai. I mean, yeah, come here pretty much. Um, what's. One of the interesting things about it is, I mean, A, very much, I don't want to say realistic, but but more like, you know, here are the peasants and here is the king. And they have very different experiences, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously there's magic and there's cute girls and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also the fact I never that, have enough of that. Exactly. Um, but the magic also seems to have something involved with his isekai thing. Um, and, um, one of the, so, and one of the things I thought was really clever is that, um, um, this may be a spoiler, I'm going to tell you anyway, um, in, in, in the Japanese, or in, in, in Japan, uh, he was a martial artist, um, judo, I think. Um, it says, it's, I, yeah. I think there is something to that. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. and you see him in a dojo doing, doing stuff. Right. Um, and so when the kid like activates his magic powers, he basically gets judo abilities. So he's like channeling the Japan the Japanese food. yeah exactly I can do it. Um, so like he's channeling that side of himself when the, the magic is, is activating. And I really like that twist on this. Um, and yet and, uh, 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 Jay's absolutely uh, uh, right. This is uh, an isekai from I think 2006. Um, yeah, so it's been some time. It's been some time. That, that was pretty early in the isekai genre. You know, it's when it was really forming up. So we're getting a, a, an early take on the isekai thing, um, which I found to be really interesting. I, okay, so like I said, I'm, I'm kind of isekai now. Um, <laughs> Fair. So it, I, I went through this and I was like, okay, it's, it, it's your isekai. I mean, that's what mm -hmm. it is. But the, the difference is that it, you know it starts off like really dark. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you're just like a guy, dude, riding on the bus, and you see a little girl, little girl smiles at him, and suddenly, boom, and then you see the girl 
beret, and you're like, oh, okay, everyone's dead. Mm -hmm. So this is a, this is in order to get isekai, and now it makes sense that it's 2006 because I think back then, in order to isekai, you had to be dead, right? To, yeah, to to, to trans mm -hmm. transform. And you're right in that it was a little bit more realistic in that it, you're not he doesn't inhabit a body with all of his memories and skill sets and abilities. It's into this into a whole nother person mm -hmm. and it's very partial and it's in slums and like they're they're like people are coming up to them going oh you kind of smell <laughs> and joking kind of yeah. Oh, yeah you smell it's more like oh, oh god you, you please stay over yeah. there you yeah. reek you're yeah. a poor yeah. little urchin mm -hmm. yeah ah. yeah here's some breadcrumbs mm -hmm. and um and then there's the the scene where you know i'm just gonna go ahead and say it. they beat the crap out yeah. i mean they 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 <sighs> They, and it's not like you know the fight scene. He's strung up and mm -hmm. yeah. torture him. It's yeah. torture. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you know, and I'm just like going. Mm -hmm. Blood spatters. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which and the, and Red, the tools. I was right they, there with you. I'm just like, <laughs> whoa. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. And like, and when they show the little thing that he uses, mm -hmm. it's studded, and I'm just like going, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Um, oh, there we go. It'd be something they would have used in your favorite show, Cestus. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Actually, this is true. Um, I mean, it's my favorite show, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were admitting it finally. Oh, it's um, my best thing ever. No. I will say this is a world with healing magic. Yeah. So they are at least able to resolve that quickly. It's not like he has, you know, broken ribs for the next six months. Um, she does have broken ribs. He's got but he's yeah. got some psychological. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to get healed by no. ribs not broken. No. <laughs> um, um for, when you told me it was the 2006 that, that that oddly enough made enough made some more sense mm -hmm. than what I was seeing. Yeah. Cuz mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, okay. You know, I, I there's there are some shows that have done the sort of um you inhabit a pre-existing person and you, you mm. can tap into their memories yeah. and it's like you know the character goes bookworm like, what is wrong yeah bookworm, bookworm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah um rwby does that oh, okay mm -hmm. you know but they, you've got characters in there where it's like okay they have to leave the one shell and enter the mm -hmm. other shell but it's not empty it's <laughs> somebody's life yeah and all of a sudden there's another person in there um so it's like, I'm like, I've forgotten those kinds of ways to do the isekai that you don't necessarily just drop people out of the sky and yeah. like, hey, welcome, now you're isekai. It's like, no, there is the nuance where you can actually have the person who receives that mm -hmm. soul, whatever it is, yeah. coping with, why do I have these memories? What's going on? I, yeah. How do I deal with this? I have knowledge I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. things, are, things are kind of weird. So getting through the moment in the uh, interrogation chamber. Yeah. Um, getting through that, getting to the other side of it, like, okay, I like, I'm kind of liking this old school. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to ride this one out as well, amongst mm -hmm. all the 5,000 <laughs> riding out. Yeah. Um, it's one of the reasons I like Grimgar Fantasy and Ash, is because that is an isekai series where, like, Japanese teenagers are being bodily transported to this fantasy world with their minds wiped. And so it is a tragedy about how, like, they are now having to figure out how to live in this world. And they have left behind people and lives and all of these things that they're never going to get back. Um, and I thought that was a, you know, it, it's those twists in the formula um, which is, is interesting. Yeah, which certainly for a lot of the more recent East guys, mm. the idea of, like... <clears throat> I'm going to fight and find a way home. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no. It's old school kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Yeah. When you went somewhere, it was the end of you. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. done with our world, and that's it. There is yeah. no returning to it. Yeah, you're not walking away from that bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I apologize. I completely forgot to mention Decide to marry the animation. Oh. Ah, oh, <laughs> such wonders, such sights to behold. Um, I oh, did enjoy this. this. Suffering will be legendary. <laughs> I, 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 I did enjoy this from one angle. I will say, far Ow. away. <laughs> How? How? 
Um, I, I was telling John about this. Um, the, the guy who runs J-List did a, an article a while back where he was pointing out that if you make a mobile game that is remarkably successful and you suddenly have a lot of cash, one of the things to do with that cash is to commission an anime series as kind of a gift to the fans and as kind of a, you know, a celebration of the game and all the characters and so forth and also as a convenient way of avoiding tax liabilities. Because you can pour lots of money into an anime series. Well, lots of money. You can pour money into an anime series, uh, and that's money you have now, you know, put somewhere. And you don't have to pay taxes on it the same way. Um, bit of a tax write-off. Right, yeah. Um, as a 24-minute commercial for a mobile game, this was a really fun, just big action set piece of just constant fighting things for 24 minutes. Um, here, are, Here's every character. You get to see every single character uh, in, in the main thing in that first first episode. Um, you get an introduction to the world. You get all those kinds of ideas. Um, and the reason I say this is that, let's be honest, you know, Pokemon, right? It's, that's the video game that they're showing in anime form, right? Like, this is the thing they do. The Pokemon um, bite people in this one. <laughs> yeah, very so. Um, so, uh, I should point out, it's all CGI, um, and really well done CGI. Um, like, I never had any problem with, like, the, the, the movement or the action and so forth. Uh, the posing of the characters is really cool. Um, and very artistic in terms of, like, the lighting of the city yeah. and so forth and so on, the visuals. Um, that said... Um, you've seen <laughs> you've seen all these characters before. You've seen the setup before. It is you know fighting monsters from another world in you know in, in things. Um, there is nothing here that will. There is nothing here that is for people who do not love the mobile game. <laughs> I think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually put it in my notes. If I was a gamer, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm not a gamer, and therefore it blows monkey jump. <laughs> yeah, I, I, watching it, I'm like, wow, the rigging's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've really got everything moving in this space. I'm like, now where is, do I use the mouse to control it? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the attack sequence? Is it W, W, S, X, C? Yeah, I mean, I really, I, I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad to see the, the state to which you can really drive animation with this CGI, mm -hmm. it's wonderful, and I'm good with one episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so, got yeah. the most of it. I'm like, yep, that's that's the thing. Thank you. Actually, that's a great point. Um, <laughs> it might be worth checking out also as sort of a a um, CGI showcase. Right. Yeah, if you want to see how far CGI has sort of come from an animation perspective, um, there, there's some impressive stuff there. Um, Speaking of video game adaptations, let's move from there to Scarlet Nexus, um, which is a video game adaptation. Um, um, various characters in a near future ish world where the other are attacking. Um, and you have characters with, I think, three different classes um, telekinetics, psychics. I'm sorry, psychics pyrokinesis. and pyrokinesis. Psychics. Yeah. Um, uh, actually, there's a lot of lot of them. There's <clears throat> that there's like ones involving elements, um, mm, arrow, mm -hmm. air, air. There mm -hmm. is one. There are those that are psychic and you have like, clairvoyance. Those clairvoyance. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. And, mm -hmm. You know, and, and telekinesis. And, and they they weirdly say that that telekinesis is kind of like the weakest one or something. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Like, uh, no clairvoyance. Like, it was okay. clairvoyance because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're yeah. like, "Hey, I'm a pyro, mm -hmm. whatever," and then I do air, and then it's like, then they have the girl who's like, "I, I do, uh, it's, uh, um, no, we understand, honey. It's hard to explain clairvoyance. Okay. <laughs> I, I knew you'd say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and so, so the others are very interesting. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, they yeah. are. <laughs> That's like nightmare fuel for my death. A, buke, a bouquet of flowers inside of a, a uh, corset. A corset. 
and you know, like cabaret. I half expected cabaret to be playing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that's a hell of a way. Oh God, that you haven't know that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you youngins that out there. That concludes the song and dance. <laughs> <laughs> but it, um, I was okay with this. I, it, it was it was fine. No bread go. Good. I was okay with this. It, mm-hmm. it was fine uh, as far as action goes. It's, it had an interesting premise, but you know, I'm um, again some of the, some of the tropes I'm really tired of. Like you know, oh, it's my older brother. Oh, I have a name in the family of what's going on around, around mm-hmm. me, and I have to um, you know perform. So this mm-hmm. because my Step brother up. is the yeah, yep. is you know, head guy. My brother's mm-hmm. the head guy over here. But I did think it was interesting, like how like the actual politics of it actually leaked in, mm-hmm. and like they had the little speedster girl come in and push him out of the way of the camera. And she yeah, the interview. yeah, I, I I really like that aspect of the world that like the press just sort of swarm in via drones yeah. on these fights, and they're like, okay, cute girl, you go out there and just sort of you know wave at the cameras while we you know, do all the you know clean up yeah, behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So, how long do you think the best friend's going to make it? Oh, yeah, not long. Is yeah. <laughs> that red shirt if I ever oh, seen gosh. one? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that was the thing, too, when the scout girl comes up. She's like, hi, I'm such and such. And I was like, hey, it's dead meat. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother naming these people. They'll be dead soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's it, it's hard. It, it is. It does very much feel like a, an ad for the video game, which just came out, like, in June, by the way. Like this is yeah. not something that that they're 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 sleeping on, um, and so there's certainly budget behind it, and it feels like there's a lot of plot that they're really you know planning to play out through the course of, of the anime series. Um, I'm also intrigued because it I I'm not sure um, I I I saw somebody playing the demo of this of the actual video game, and I think this is a different makeup of characters than the ones you actually play. In the, so the, the two main are in there, but like the other characters, I think, are, are different. So I'm that would be cool if you're kind of getting a different mix of characters and different mix of things going back and forth um, in the anime series. But it is very much kind of aiming at that audience, I think, primarily. Well, I know s- several seasons ago, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. Oh, wow. Um, mm-hmm. Fantasy Star is a game. Yep. And they, they they did, I thought Fantasy Star, the original <laughs> anime that they had done based on mm. that, wasn't really all that bad. Mm-hmm. And then it just kept kind of going on mm. and on. And like the anime made less and less sense the longer mm. the further it went. And the more CGI kind of it got into it. And, I, and to the point where I stopped watching it, where I'm like, you're just watching the character like go on the adventure portion and fight mm-hmm. the quest parts without your participation. Uh, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't, you know, so I curious to know where this potentially is going to sort of go, mm-hmm. but not enough to actually want to watch more. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mm-hmm. No, I hear that. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of in the, in the, in the same boat. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's okay. If I don't see yeah, yeah. It was interesting, but it's not, it's really not gripping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. Let us then uh, switch over to uh, an anime that really did grip us, uh, John and myself at least. I'm very curious to see Steve's views on Sunny Boy. Um, Sunny Boy. Let me... This is the uh, the high school in a inky black void. Um, Loved it. Oh. Loved it. There's so Loved much going it. on here. There is so much going on. Okay, so, yeah. So, um, okay, so nobody knows. Yeah. Schools is in the void. Mm-hmm. And it's just there. And it's like 30 students, 36 students. Something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And some of them have powers and, and the rest do not. Mm-hmm. And it's just very much Lord of the Flies type of thing going on here. And it's just very much of the haves and haves not people try and control and these are all students and how some of them like one particular character you're like cap you're like oh he's kind of like a nice guy and then he 
turns into something else. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he does what he does. And you're just Everybody's like, nice you until you crap. cross them. Until you cross them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Literally and figuratively. And then, yeah, and, nice. Yeah, and, 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 and then it just goes into this, oh, look, you know, the thing is sinking, and mm. look, there's an island. And it just does this one, yeah. oh my God, you're just like, ah, <laughs> ah. Yeah. It, it, I want to know yeah. why. Yeah. But they it, bring up, like, a very interesting premises, like cell phones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they know that they're not in the world. Mm-hmm. Have a Nyan Nyamazon. Right. Nyan right. Which is apparently it's arrived it's without any right. legs. And, you know, like, people are, are like, putting <laughs> food and you know, mm -hmm. doing all these different things. And, again, they're, like, it starts with people breaking the rules. And people taking right. them in a way they're just going, well, I just wish they'd stop. Well, they have power, so, you know, where are you going to go? Mm-hmm. I just, I love it. It's yeah. so good. They're, they're, it's, it's basically... If you want something to just jump into something and just go, I don't get it and I like it. <laughs> you know? And I mean, yeah. and that's the thing entirely. It's like, yeah, it doesn't. It's not giving you anything that There's typical. No there was a there was an earthquake and we suddenly were here mm -hmm. or anything. It's like, welcome to the unknown in its entirety. Mm -hmm. you yes. Have no like preconditioning to what's going to happen you know you just it's just suddenly a like sunny boy does not tell you a damn thing about where this thing's going mm -hmm. does not give you any kind of hint it's not mm -hmm. sunny nope. boy the school disappeared because of a time <laughs> quake and it dropped into right. a non yeah. end dimension it's like nope you no idea nope. Yeah. so you are forced to sit back not knowing any of the characters not knowing any mm -hmm. powers not knowing anything that's going on mm -hmm. and just you you're forced to think actively about yes what's mm -hmm. going on Okay, Cap is, and there's the student council president. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Yeah. And why are these people? If there's only thirty six, why does it feel like there's more people? Where is it? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's, it's doing, making you work a little on yep. it. And it's like in yeah. a good way, not in a laborious yeah. like, oh, you're killing me kind of way. And it's yeah. one of the things I really appreciate about the fact that they they start after things are stabilized. Like yes. pe people, you know, food is being passed out at regular intervals. Like, you know. We've gotten past the what the heck is going on phase. And so you just have to piece together what's going on. Why is that person reacting in that way? Um, yeah, it's really cool. There is a uh, strong reference in this to a manga called uh, The Drifting Classroom, uh, which is a manga from the 80s, I think, 70s, 70s, I think, um, which was one of the... There was a movement... Yeah, the Gekiga movement in manga took a minute, um, which is basically to make manga more um, serious, more adult, and so forth, and, 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 and deal with real issues. And that is about an elementary school that is suddenly like teleported into like this hellscape, um, and like literally, suddenly it is in one place. Suddenly, um, um, it is not, and they are just physically there. Like all of the like you know. The water lines have been cut. Electricity has been cut, right? It is just the, the physical um, um, thing there. And so it's a question of food, yeah. right? Water, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's very much a horror uh, manga uh, about, about that. Now, this is not an adaptation of that specifically because this is directed and written by the same person um, uh, who has been working in anime for quite a while. Back, back in the 90s, has been an animator doing a bunch of stuff, um, and then did, and I'm, yeah, yes, I'm looking it up now, um, uh, because um, Shingo Natsume is the director who also just happened to uh, be a director on uh, Space Dandy, Ooh. yep, yep. Uh, One Punch Man, Um, I'm looking back up. Boogie, um, Pop. Boogie Pop and others. Yep, yeah, the, the, the new Boogie Pop series. Um, um, Aka 13 Territory Inspection Department, which I've heard good things about. Um, and there was something else in here. Is it, is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood key animation. Yeah, yeah, tons of key animation. Um, yeah. Key animation on, you know, Gurren Lagann, Tsukihime, Mahoraba, um, Shaka Gundam Shana. Zeta Gundam. Dang, that's gotta be the early. Uh, that, oh, that's, Psycho. Um, Zeta Gundam, the, the, 
Zeta Gundam the movies, I should point out. Right, um, New Translation 2, Lovers? Right, because that came out like 10 years ago. Okay. Um, Nadam Kadabio, Lady Short Walk On Girl, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, this is an original, directed, and a written project by that person. Really fascinating work. Um, yeah, I am I can't wait to see where Sunny Boy goes. Yeah. Um, and a nice, wide cast of characters as well. Yeah. This is one of those yeah. anime where, at least in episode one, every five to seven minutes there's a... Yeah. Moment. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, okay, oh, oh, this is going in a different direction. Yeah, because the thing that's not said, they they've took a they took a head count. They said there's yeah. 36 people. Some have superpowers, some don't. Um, how many students are typically in a mm. Japanese school? Mm-hmm. Where are right. the rest, rest of them? Of them. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, this drops you in at a point where yeah, you're right. It's settled down. Was there like Mm-hmm. You know, SAO kind of thing where people realize they're trapped and they're like, well, screw it. I'm just going to jump right off the cliff. And mm-hmm. they jumped out of windows and into nothing. <laughs> yeah, could be. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's something that I'd like. I'll be curious to see if that's something that happens. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a horrifying thought. But... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's great. It's great. Oh, yeah. Love it. Right down our alleys. Um. <laughs> um. And yeah, I think we're going to have to finish out with Tsukimichi Moonlit Fantasy. Uh, the isekai comedy, or one of the isekai comedies of the season, where a uh, young man is isekai'd um, by a completely worthless goddess who kind of hates his guts and ends up throwing him into the, um, onto like the edge of, of the fantasy world with simply the power to read and write any language. Um, and he's just dumped there. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, just, just... Um, oh boy. Poor guy. Poor guy. And what I like about this is that the main character um, has not only determination about him, but he like thinks through his problems. Um, and he's like, okay, I can read and write, so I can like, I can go anywhere, talk to people, and like leave notes for people, right? And and do that kind of stuff. So there's there's a lot he can do, um, and then of course, girls start showing up. Um, you know, they, they, there's clearly going to be several cute girls involved in all of this. Um, but I just found this one to be one of those you know fun light isekai comedy kind of a, kind of a stories. Yeah, and I think I've, I think I'm up. At, oh, I'm only on episode one too. I, oh, okay. I, I, I didn't I didn't get past that, but yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's. It's got me engaged enough because I want to know he can't get any more help from any other deities, and right. that goddess has pretty much just written him off entirely. <laughs> yep. So it's like, okay, how is he going to use this very extremely useful? I'm not mm-hmm. going to say it's a very useless. I'm going to say it's a very specifically useful skill. Mm-hmm. And how is he going to, you know, really get that to do anything useful in this world? Yeah. So I, I, I look forward to how it's going to develop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me too. Here's what I wrote. <laughs> die, 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 <laughs> die. Oh, jeez, Steve. Self-aware is a guy. Humorous, dot, 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 but is a guy. Dude is some of the parents who is a guy from another world. And that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> fair. Oh, wow. Very fair. I was like, I was like, mm, that's a guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Now, did um, you... I, I, now, did you guys actually watch uh, Remain? No, I must have missed that one. It's the sport game. No, it's the it, it was okay. the uh, water polo. Yes, the water polo. Oh, the water polo one. Yes. Um. Uh. uh yes, we did. I we loved did. that. The, uh, last season, I was totally done with sports anime. I didn't mm. like any of them, and Remain came up, and I thought that was really good and <laughs> restored my faith in sports anime. <laughs> tragic story but you know yeah 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 um, um, but it's but it is a good premise if you're in if you're in a high school and then you lose all your high school memories and the last thing you remember is from junior high school mm-hmm. by the way not an isekai or a magical thing going no. on here mm-hmm. you know, he just was in an accident he lost his memories mm-hmm. literally yeah he has to rebuild himself yeah yeah that would suck 
Um, which is a trope that has not been trotted out in at least the last <laughs> two or three years. <laughs> oh no, yeah. amnesia! Yeah. I can't yeah. remember anything. <laughs> what could have happened? Uh, here we go. Um, I really liked in the beginning of that uh, anime series. You you start with him waking up in bed, um, and you see, I'll just say, a girl there who's just sort of talking into her phone yep. and just you know, doing stuff, and just seems totally disinterested. Um, and then just finishes up her phone, walks out, and then realizes he's awake and freaks out. Um, and it seems so bizarre until you discover, and again, this is, this is not a spoiler, that he's been in a coma for six months. And that's his younger sister who's been coming there every day, and she's you know, been there doing that thing, and it's just become a routine. And she wants him, you know, obviously, it's, it's no disrespect, but it's just like, you know, I'm doing my thing here, you know, waiting for this to happen, and then, oh my gosh, it's finally happening. Um, There's a neat way of making the audience realize how much time it's been. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I'm interested to see more, mm -hmm. um, especially how he gets back into the water of Polo, because mm -hmm. he's actually not interested. Right. Right. And, and very much so. Not, very <laughs> much so. physically not capable after Full six of months of right. being bedridden. Mm -hmm. And that's really a really nice detail that they put out there. Yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've been bedridden for a long time. Once. Mm. And, you know, you, you wake up and you're like, oh, I used to be able to do this. Ah, <laughs> ow. Okay. So okay. you, had, this, you well. had the study, rehab, study, manga, study, <laughs> right. study, manga, manga, manga study, manga. 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 <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Um, yeah. No, that, that's it's it's a great point. Is that because he, he he very much you know realizes that is that you know those are very specific muscles that are just not there anymore. Yeah. Um, and so we can't just can't just change it. Um, yeah. No, Truck Truck Gun didn't do it this time, but it sure tried. Yeah. It it did. Oh. Um, and uh, yeah, Steve. But it's just weird, so. yeah. Mm say it's it's not a spoiler i don't think to say that there was a truck coon in the scene but it was not truck mm -hmm. in itself. yes it's true <laughs> so <laughs> yeah um so that you know what thinking back about that that's a really good point because that might have been the sort of ha ha right yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but there <laughs> is truck coon you're like oh you crafty <laughs> <laughs> there we go um it is also very clear this is going to be basically free you would be swim club um, yeah. You know, uh, hot high school boys in speedos, you know, in, in the water. Uh, but it's which, totally different. It's water polo. It's true. Yes, it's, it's a completely polo. different show. Completely different show. Absolutely different. <laughs> yes. Did you guys um, see Night, Nighthead? Nighthead. Nighthead was. Oh yeah. You said was a continuation of the series. Yeah, we, we skipped that one because there was there was a um, like okay. and um, I think it's yeah, part of a larger sure. franchise and like it's, it's you know there's a Nighthead twenty. Okay. 38 and th 39 or whatever, so... Oh, I hadn't realized. Yeah, uh, what did you think of it? Uh, um, mm -hmm. um, I was not impressed. Okay. Um, <laughs> Would not recommend. Uniforms, uniforms look like skate team uniforms. <laughs> Meh. Post-World War Three, parents and self religion goes after people with powers of those with no religion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, remember they have powers, two campus escapees, a terrible bar. Interesting, not great. That's what I call it. Interesting, not great. Okay. Interesting, not great. Fair. Not like the, uh, no, no, nothing will be like skating. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say that without laughing. Um, but you're right. <laughs> it will be like skating. Yeah. yeah. But for me, one of the, the winners was Life Lessons with Garbage. What you say? How did I miss that one? How did I, I not thought, include I that? You were getting to that as the end. How did I not put that on the list? Um, like let me check it out. Watch that one at the very end. One second. Let me just check something. Did I? I, I may have miscounted. One moment. Um, uh, well, no, because it would be it would be um, in the L's. Um, so you're right. We completely missed it. So let's let's talk about life lessons. Because we should totally talk about Life Lessons, um, which is about a uh, young man who works in a children's show, and um, he has his issues. Oh, he's bitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's so bitter. 
He's drinking malt liquor. I'm telling yes. you right now. He's drinking malt liquor. Anger. What's anger. That? He's drinking anger and staring at his nose. <laughs> like I mean, he is. Well, this thing. I laughed so hard. <laughs> I yeah, laughed so hard. Darkness <laughs> is just <laughs> quite like, holy crap. Yes. And all that he's doing it in front of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the kids. And kids are just like. Why are you fake smiling? Because I'm dead inside. <laughs> that's, that's basically the show. Yes. That's, that's the show right there. Are you talking yeah. like that because you were drinking again? <laughs> like, that's how like, wow. And, and then the director is like, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. good content. Yeah. Like, wow. I remember and little, and his co highs dressed up as the buddies. <laughs> and he's, it just abuses the hell out of them. Yes, he oh does. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember first getting into anime, uh, when I first got into anime, and how how often there would be comedy where um, somebody would say something stupid, and somebody would, would respond by you know pulling a hammer out of thin air and like you know caving their skull in, um, and then they'd just be walking down the road the next scene, right? Um, and bludgeoning angel. Right. Yeah. Um, and although with that, like there, there's a, there's a literal like you know time rewind where she pulls him back. Um, this is like all the Ranma stuff and all, all the, the craziness there. And it took me a while <laughs> to realize that like that comedy is not meant to be taken literally, right? Like like yeah. you know th th that that didn't literally happen. It's meant to represent you know this this uh, this over the top reaction to that. And it's very, that's very much the spirit of this series is, you know, he, he's saying things to people, he, he's saying things to these kids. And obviously you couldn't get away with that in real life, uh, <laughs> but it's just, it's like meant for the comedy. Right. I thought it was an internal dialogue there for like, right? wow, can't say this. Because the director would be like, whoa, hold on, no, we can't do that with the retake. Yeah. It's like, no, you're right. It's, it's just, this is the fantastical portion of this. <laughs> This makes it so hilarious because it's like, you know, we've all had those times where we want to just tell people, yeah, I, mm, mm. I'm dead inside. Mm. Well, I think there's a meme already of when he gets up out of bed and he hits the alarm clock. Yeah. And it's like, another morning has come. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you, yeah, you nailed yeah. that one pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just like when he takes the tambourine and he shakes it across his face and he's smiling. He's like, oh, my kids. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty darn hilarious. Um, I, I do wonder if it's the kind of show. I do think it's another example of a show that I would not try to mainline. Um, I think it's a kind of it's a kind of humor that I think you want to sort of you know spread out. I think if you tried to watch you yeah. know the thirteen yeah. episodes of this, it would be too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh God. By the end, you'd be lose there. It. Yeah, it would lose that sort of sting edge to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, or you'd be like, by the end of the coin, right. <laughs> life is pain. I never should have accepted a job on a kid's ship. Wait a minute. Wait, a <laughs> job I should have. And the kids are adorable. Bitter. Yeah, the yeah. kids are great. <laughs> bitter, bitter, All bitter, professional bitter. acting children. Mm -hmm. If Kadocha has taught me what anything. Exactly. As my dad would say, damn one of kids. <laughs> the children on Barney and friends were mm -hmm. absolutely totally committed to Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, my mom was on a, a kid show. Actually, both my parents were on, like, local kid shows, you know, um, uh, uh, on TV in, like, our... the 50s. Um, and that was, that was an experience. Because it was, you know... Um, my mom was just scared, you know, basically, she was very nervous, um, and what was the thing she would do? Um, she kept, like, um, I think it was chewing her lip or something, and of course her mom could see her and kept minding, don't, yeah, stop doing that, okay. You know, <laughs> just loop. Um, well, while my dad, uh, it, it was fine during the show, but between takes, he would, he would, Hear the profanity lace, lace tirades by the clown to the rest of the, pe the people on the show. Yeah, it was one of those sorts of shows. 
Um, so it was notoriously me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great with the kids, but with everyone else, it was just kidding. Yeah, it's Dr. Uh, um, and then who knew that later on John Wayne Gacy would be oh. Mm. Oh. Is there anything else we missed? I think we've got good. Think good. Yeah. 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 It's enough. Oh, um, oh, did you? Uh, oh, well, there was that little five minute thing. Obey me. I did not see that, no. Oh, I didn't see that either. Okay, well, that's five minutes that you've saved for your life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, literally, okay, so Asmodeus is sitting, I'm not kidding, Asmodeus is sitting at the, at the they're all beautiful, beautiful men. Mm-hmm. Asmodeus is sitting at the head saying, okay, you guys got to do better, you guys study for the double academy, whatever, <laughs> mm-hmm. and, your, and your curses are that you're, that you're coming up with aren't good enough and you need mm-hmm. to study harder. And they're all, you know, like different various names, you know, um, um, Beelzebub. One, Beelzebub, oh, yeah, the ball and, and yeah. Satan and, you know, things like that. Beelzebub. And they all kind of like have characteristics of, of the demon. Mm. And so one of them is playing a video game where it's like real face emojis come down and you have the camera on yourself for it. So you're like almost FaceTiming yourself. And oh, you okay. Try to mimic the, the face <laughs> and you have points and he's just like, Oh, no, 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 I can study, I can study. See, I don't write curses. And he's just like doing really intensely. I'm writing curses, I'm writing curses. Oh, okay. You know, making faces. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, everyone's just, it just devolves into this whole shouting match. And his modus mm-hmm. as modus goes, okay, fine. Everyone mm-hmm. Picks up the cell phone and he starts playing the game. And then, mm-hmm. you know, I'm saying he comes back and gives um, to, uh, that's supposed to be. Right. You're not, yeah. you're not selling, selling it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they did not sell it. So mm-hmm. trust me. I, I At the pitch it. meeting, that was... you sold this. You didn't <laughs> sell it here. It, it, mm. it, like I, that was the actual last thing I watched. Last wow. Time. And I was like, I like, and I didn't even realize it was a five minute episode. I mm-hmm. thought it was going to go somewhere, and then the five minutes are up, and then the you know, song comes up, and you know, yeah, they're posing, all this stuff. I'm like, going, I'm sitting here going. I'm never getting that five minutes back. <laughs> never. Yeah. I'm going to bed. I hate this. Yeah. I hate anime. I had hot pockets at the time it took to watch this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yes. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Oh, baby. Okay. Baby. I wasn't even sure I saw that on the list. Yeah. Um, no, it was under Femination. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was just looking at the, my anime list one, and I'm not even sure mm. I saw that. Yeah. Um... I'm sure it's an O and A, and it may have just sort of, you know. Oh yeah. I mean, or maybe an O and A, they sort of oh, work its way oh, in. Oh, oh no, there there is one we didn't talk about. Which oh. Maybe we shouldn't talk about. And I think what? it's because it's the. I think it's because it's a spinoff, and you guys, I guess, probably right. didn't watch it. Nope. Uh, Honor at Magic High School. I think I said something. The Honor. Correct. Yes. Right. Yep. It's a spinoff of a regular. Okay. Yeah. Did you like it? Okay. No. Okay. No. no. You creeped yeah. out by the brocon kind of thing going on there. <laughs> yeah. The you know. Oh, my brother's so handsome, and you know he's taking yeah, he's paying attention to me on my birthday. Let's go to him. And then, oh, Yuki's love with Tatsuya is strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the brother, strong. Lo- brother, sister bond is very, very strong. Yes. It's okay. So, it's okay. Which I still, I, I brought this up in Discord earlier in the week. It's like, I, there's still not a clear indication that they are not uh, the sort of service families to the, uh, the Yatsuba family, whatever it's mm-hmm. the, right. the mm-hmm. central family, mm-hmm. and that they are adopted. Not as brother and sister to the family, but are literally two adoptees mm-hmm. with their skills to serve the main family. Mm-hmm. That's not addressed. There's... Um. A lot of interesting hints about irregular about that, but it's I never researched it. Why, Brent? You're going to say something? What? They're full blood. I knew it. I knew. Oh. It. I knew no, it. please don't make 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 my fantasy life it's, it's better. It's loveless please. all no. over again. It's uh-huh. loveless all over again. It's kissed by sis. Oh no. Uh, no. Well. Well, no, they're not related. Kiss by sis, so that's okay. Right. Whew. Um, do you want me to tell you what's on the Wikipedia page? I've I've avoided knowing all this time. <laughs> sure, Brent. Sure, go ahead. Just um, my dreams. 
Katsuya and Miyuki are siblings. Um, um, they're, my, 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 creep, my creeped outness is... Their, their parents had a loveless forced marriage. Um, and when their mother died, their father married his mistress, um, leaving the siblings to live by themselves. Um, their aunt and the current leader of the clan was the reason Tatsu was born with the unique magic de decomposed reconstruction that made matter. Out of fear for his powers, the clan leadership at that time argued for Tatsuya's death, um, forcing his parents to make, take measures to ensure his survival. You ready for this? God, I'm not sure, but okay, hit me with it. Um, the first was the creation of Miyuki with genetic enhancements in utero, who would act as a seal to Tatsuya's power The second was to magically dull Tatsuya's emotions except for his familial love towards Miyuki. Oh. And the third to assign Tatsuya to be Miyuki's bodyguard to develop a sense of loyalty toward her. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's all sorts of That's a lot to unpack in that. <laughs> I, I liked my world. Yeah, I do too. I liked your world a lot better. Than I actually that one. liked your world better too. Yeah. I, <laughs> so they oh, genetically boy. engineered Miyuki. Yeah. Yeah. According to Wikipedia, I don't know. Which means she's not actually related to Tatsuya, so it's all fine. What? I, I I believe you are right. She she is a magically created being, and so they're 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 technically not related by blood. So you know. So it's all fine. It's all cool. Right. No. It's all good. No, <laughs> no problems. We're fine. How no. are you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I like that answer because it lets me live in my happy little happy place. Yay. All right. That'll do it. We're going to take a quick break for a few minutes. We'll be back to talk about um, uh, the latest anime news and other things going back. Going on. We will be right back. <laughs> 